the two-tier cordon training system for grapevines, Grape Video 18. This presentation assumes a familiarity with the grapevine terminology presented in Grape Videos 1 to 5. We present this topic not because two-tier cordon training is used widespread in commercial vineyards, but because we're using it experimentally at the MSU Southwest Michigan Research and Extension Center, and we think it has merit for production of juice grapes especially. This system is also used in wine grapes, and we'll talk about that in various locations, and we'll give some discussion of that. We'll start out with a standard top wire cordon training system as shown in this schematic as a starting point of why we might digress from this standard training system that is used so very widely commercially to something rather different. If we look at this schematic and then look at it from an end view looking down the row, we would have something like this. Here is top wire cordon looking down the row with the concentration of fruit at the top of the trellis and leaf area all the way down to the ground as shown here. The problem is that the further leaves develop from the fruit, the less effective they are and the less useful they are for ripening the fruit. So when we conceive to put more crop on the vine and to ripen it well, the possibility exists to make fruiting zones that can make better use of leaf area because the fruit is closer to more of the leaf area. Here is the top wire cordon training system as shown in those schematics and you can see that all of the growth and all of the fruiting capacity is born at the very top of the trellis. We might change that. What if instead of a single cordon at the top of the trellis, we establish two cordons as shown in this schematic? Then if we look at this two tiers of cordons, if you will, two different layers of cordons, from an end view it might look like this. Now we have two fruiting zones and we have the leaf area up and down the trellis all closer to fruit than it would be if there were just the single fruiting zone at the top of the trellis. And we've changed the schematic somewhat. Instead of a six foot tall trellis, we've expanded it to seven feet. Why? Because modern harvesters, at least in Michigan, can accommodate and pick a seven foot tall trellis. So we're headed to picking over that seven feet with two fruiting zones as shown here. Well, not exactly because when we have the two cordons at a seven foot height and at a three foot height as shown in the previous schematics, the harvester catching frames cannot accommodate that four foot difference between the two cordons. So out of necessity, we have actually moved that second cordon up to a distance of four feet above ground, three feet between the cordons as shown here. And here's what the schematic looks like then with fruiting zones at four feet and seven feet above the vineyard floor. And here's what it looks like in practice. This was the first year that we had this two-tier cordon training system in place at the MSU Southwest Michigan Research and Extension Center. And it looks rather different than just the top wire cordon. 
notice on the line post that there's a 2x4 extension to make that a 7 foot tall trellis in our experimental vineyard. Well, if we go back to this schematic showing that two-tier training system, it doesn't look very much different, truthfully, than a training system of more than 100 years ago. Here is a graphic representation of forearm niffin training, and it looks rather similar to that two-tier cordon. Yes, there are differences in that in this case we have canes out the fruiting moyers each year and with the two-tier cordon as the name suggests we have cordons and then we spur prune those nevertheless the similarity is that we have two fruiting zones on two fruiting wires and why are they different well there is a big difference and it has to do with mechanization. The problems years ago were that the 4K Niffin system, forearm Niffin system, would gradually fail on that lower fruiting zone because it was in the shade as vine size got larger and larger. This technology, this mechanical shoot to positioner developed by Michigan State University changes the architecture of the vine canopy and opens it up so that the lower fruiting zone can be in the sunlight much better than it would be without this positioning. This unit will be available for the first time commercially in 2014. Let's take a look at it in still photos. Here is a before picture of this positioner and a side view on these Concord vines on top wire cordon. And here it is during its pass. And here it is after a single pass with that positioner. And you can see how nicely this unit has taken those shoots move them off the top, move them down the trellis, and open up the vine so that we can actually see those clusters in the sunlight uh, as they develop through the growing season. Well, here is the two-tier cordon with its shoot positioning having been done mechanically by that shoe positioning device and you can see again that we have a fruit zone at the top and then we have a second fruiting zone at a height of four feet above ground or three feet between those two cordons. Here is a, another photo of the two-tier cordon training system on a seven-foot trellis and this particular treatment in our work shows an undercut that occurs at the bottom of the first layer of cordon from the top down and just above that lower cordon level. We're not certain yet whether this is actually needed or not for sustained productivity of this two-tier cordon training system. Here we have the original picture we showed of two-tier cordon training in 2005, the first year we began working on this. And then we look several years later, and on these very same vines, four years later, we still have productive cordons at both levels on this two-tier cordon training system because we've kept them well exposed to the sunlight with shoe positioning and actually this same productivity has occurred up into 2013 so we've been doing this for eight years and have verified that we can keep productive fruiting zones 
at both levels with this training system and with shoe positioning. Here's another picture from 2009 looking right down the row and you can see how open the shoe positioning uh, works to create an open canopy with sunlight exposure to both cordons to the fruit on both cordons. Yet another picture later in the growing season and although there is a lot of canopy development having taken place here by mid-July, you can see that the fruit is still enjoying exposure to sunlight at this time. And here is the fruit on the two-tier cordon at harvest time. You can see Ramon in the background working on harvesting the fruit. But throughout the entire season, we've been able to keep fruit in the sunlight for maturation with this two-tier cordon training system. In contrast, here is a normal, if you will, top wire cordon trained Concord vine late in the season at harvest time. And although you can see an occasional cluster visible, most of the fruit is buried inside this canopy that has not been positioned and that can create problems with fruit maturity and with wood maturity for next year's crop. This is a picture from within that top wire cordon canopy. You can see that there are are so many shaded leaves that some of them have just totally deteriorated and are falling away. You can also see that although this is supposed to be ripe fruit at this time, there's a lot of reddish coloration to a lot of berries indicating that this fruit is not very well matured, does not have very high soluble solids, and part of the cause for that is that it is literally buried in layers of canopy because the vines have not been positioned to open the fruit to exposure to sunlight. So we would list advantages of two-tier cordon training as one that it provides two fruiting zones to increase vine productivity and we should add that that's true if we have adequate vine size, and that's an issue in itself that we are dealing with in this project, to keep adequate vine size so that we can do this two-tier cordon training and make the vines overall more productive. And secondly, we think that this two-tier cordon training system is highly mechanizable, and we are working on several aspects of that, we have shown you the shoe positioning device that we developed, but we're also working on a pruning device that will be able to prune two-tier cordon train vines. Two-tier cordon training can be achieved not only for juice grapes, but also for wine grapes. And here's a schematic showing a two-tier cordon trained wine grape vine with extended trellises and the position of the shoots is upward rather than hanging down as in Concord. This system was originally developed years ago by Dr. Richard Smart in New Zealand and he called the system the Tikawada two-tier training system and he has developed plots of this worldwide in several countries. So Tikawada two-tier is another name or a synonym for two-tier cordon training. Well, our limited application of two-tier cordon training to wine grapes is shown here with some Cabernet Franc. And the problem that occurred for us in southern Michigan 
is that the lower cordon of this two-tier cordon system would be engulfed in shade by mid-afternoon as you can begin to see happening in this photo and the maturity of the fruit on that lower cordon was quite inferior to that on the upper cordon. This is a photo of Chardonnay with two-tier cordon training and you can just barely see at the bottom of the photo the lower cordon and clusters from that lower cordon and we had the same problem there with uh, excessive afternoon shading of the lower cordon uh, with this training system on wine grapes. So from those experiences we would list the disadvantages of two-tier cordon training as follows. Shoot positioning is essential for maintaining the fruitfulness of the lower fruiting zone. If you're not going to shoot position vines, don't even consider two-tier cordon training. And the shoot positioning in itself may devigorate the shoot growth and may devigorate vines and vine size. So we're dealing with that as a part of this project with the spacing of the vines and the rootstocks used to invigorate vines. But we would forewarn you that shoot positioning could cause this disadvantage to vines trained to this two-tier cordon training system. And then there's all the extra effort required to establish tall trellises on which to put these vines. And that's no small matter. And number four, it may not be suitable when the fruiting zone is placed relatively low on the trellis as we explain with our efforts with the wine grape varieties Cabernet Franc and Chardonnay. So in summary, we list the advantages again as that it provides two fruiting zones to increase vine productivity. And that is the reason we are working with this training system so that we can hopefully increase productivity per acre for our commercial growers. And it's highly mechanizable, so we hope that with mechanization we can reduce costs of operating an acre of vineyard while increasing its productivity. Well, the disadvantages we just listed, so we'll go through these quickly. Shoot positioning is essential. The shoot positioning may devigorate shoot growth. Extra effort to establish tall trellises. And it may not be suitable when the fruiting zone is placed low on the trellises. Well, that's it, folks. That's the two-tier cordon training system. Not one of the current mainstream commercial training systems for grapevines, but we hope that it is futuristically going to help growers, especially those with juice grapes, to increase their productivity. In our next video, we will talk about the modified Munson training system, and that is specifically for those interested in producing table grapes. And that will be the last of our training system videos. We're going on to pruning, and we will have lots to say about pruning grapevines in the videos just ahead. Until then, happy grape growing!